Welcome back to MultiGeek. It wouldn't be called MultiGeek if I just did music. This week, I'm going to talk about fresh herbs. Good herbs are crucial to great cooking, and it's super easy to grow them yourself, whether you're in a house or an apartment. You can grow them in a pot, in a planter, in the ground, on your balcony, on your patio. It's really simple. Right now in our garden, we have growing thyme, tarragon, oregano, mint, basil, sage, rosemary, and a few years ago, we even planted a bay tree. I'd like to show you three simple things you can do with herbs. Today on MultiGeek, I'd like to show you three easy things to do with herbs. The first is basil chiffonade. You need about five basil leaves. You start by simply stacking them up, usually with the largest one on the bottom. When they're stacked, you roll them together, just like a joint or a cigarette. And then you cut very thin slices off of the end, I'm using my thumb for a guide here, keeping it out of the way of the knife. When you're done, you fluff them up, and that's it. Basil chiffonade. This can go on top of a pizza, on pasta, or on a salad. Very easy. The second is bouquet garni. Bouquet garni is just a little bundle of herbs. The most common combination is thyme, parsley, and a couple of bay leaves from the garden. Just tie a little bundle. Very easy. Tie a knot around this side. And then maybe again. This, when you're done, goes in a soup, a sauce, or a stew. So you can get the herb flavor in it. And when you're done, you can pull the whole bundle out and not be fishing for all the twigs. Bouquet garni. The third thing I'd like to show you is a mojito. A mojito uses fresh mint. This I just picked from the garden. You start with a few leaves in the bottom of a glass. Add a half an ounce of simple syrup, which is just sugar water, and the juice of half a lime. Then you muddle that, which just means smash it together to get the mint flavor and smell out. You add an ounce and a half of white rum, a couple of dashes of bitters, and an ounce and a half of club soda. I don't have any, so I'm using Perrier. Stir that together. Add some ice. And you can use the rest of your mint for a garnish. Cheers!